ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு தாஷின்ஸ் கார்னர் ஹோப் யூ ஆல் ஆர் சேஃப் அண்ட் ஹெல்த்தி லெட்ஸ் லுக் சிபிஎஸ்சி செவன்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் இங்கிலீஷ் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் டுடே தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சாப்டர் இஸ் த்ரீ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் இட்ஸ் எ ஸ்டோரி எ ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் எ கிங் எ அண்ட் எ ஹெர்மிட் ஸோ பிஃபோர் காயிங் டு தி ஸ்டோரி லெட்ஸ் ரீட் எ கொஸ்டின் A king has three questions and he is seeking answers to them. What are the questions? Does the king get what he wants? Yes, these questions are to be answered after reading the story thoroughly. So, let's get into the chapter. Once, a king thought of three questions which he won't fail if he knew the answers of these three questions. And the questions are... What is the right time to begin something? Which people should he listen to? And what is the most important thing for him to do? These are the three questions. And the king sent messengers throughout his kingdom promising a large sum of money to anyone who would answer these three questions perfectly. And many wise men went to the king and answered differently. but the king was not at all satisfied with those answers to the first question some replied king must prepare a time table and follow it strictly then that is the right time to begin something some others said it was impossible to decide in advance the right time to do something and yet others said that the king need a council of wise men to help him act at the right time here council means a group of people chosen to give advice or to make rules so some other people are saying that the king need a council of wise men to decide the right thing this was because king alone could not decide correctly without the help of others and some others suggest that in order to decide right time for doing something it is necessary to look into the future so the king should go to the magicians yes some people said the king should go to the magicians to know the right time to begin something and these were the answers he got for the first questions he was absolutely not at all happy with those answers and the next question is which people should he listen to the answers to the question is some people said the people most necessary to the king is his counselors and some others said the people who is most important in king's life is priest yet others said doctors and some others said it was the soldiers who were most necessary the king was not at all happy with these answers too and the third question is what is the most important thing for him to do and to, to the third question also arose many answers some said science is the most important thing for him to do and some others said fighting and yet others told the religious practices worships etc like this the king got many answers but none of them made him satisfied and gave no reward to any one instead of that he decided to seek the help of a hermit who was widely known for his wisdom hermit means a person who lives alone and leads a simple life the king decided to ask these three questions to the hermit so the king put on ordinary clothes to look simple and also he left his horse with bodyguard yes our king put on ordinary clothes because hermit is a simple man so that he put on ordinary clothes and when he reached near hermit's hut he saw hermit was digging the ground 
and when hermit saw the king hermit greeted the king and continued the work and the king went near to hermit and said he came to ask three questions and hermit listened to the three questions but did not give any reply he went on digging then the king told you are tired let me do your work the hermit gave the spade to the king by thanking him and sat on the ground when the king dug two beds he repeated the questions but hermit didn't reply and told how now you take rest i'll do the rest yes hermit told the king now you take rest i will do the rest of the work but the king didn't give the spade to hermit he continued digging and how was passed it's time to the sunset and the king told the hermit if you know the answers please tell or otherwise please tell that you don't know the answers i'll return home at that time hermit said somebody was running towards the hut and they saw a bearded man was running towards them blood was flowing out of his stomach and when he reached to the king he fainted and fell to the ground and they found a large wound in his stomach in the man's stomach and the king washed the blood and covered stomach with handkerchief but the blood didn't stop the flowing the king redressed the wound until bleeding stopped king gave fresh water to drink and he took the man with the help of hermit into the hut and laid him on the bed the man lay quietly he was relaxed and the king also slept on the floor through the night because king was that much tired for the whole day he was walking to the hermit's hut and after that he dug so many beds for hermit and the next morning the man and the king woke up the bearded man told the king forgive me the king was in a dilemma he didn't understood anything and he asked i don't know you and why you are asking to forgive yes the king was in a dilemma and then the man told you don't know me but i know you yes i am that enemy of yours you put my brother to death and seized my property so the man know the king went to see hermit and he was in a plan to kill the king on his way but he couldn't see the king that day because yes the king was still in hermit's hut while he was leaving from the hiding place the king's body got attacked him this was happened before he reached hermit's hut yes the man was planning to kill the king while he returned from hermit's hut and he couldn't see the king that day because he was still in hermit's hut for the answers of the three questions now if i live i will serve you as your most faithful servant and will order my sons to do the same the bearded man told that if i live i will serve you as a servant and will tell my sons also to do the same and he again asked that forgive me yes by hearing all these things the king was very much happy that he have made peace with his enemy he not only forgive him but also he said that his doctor will treat you and also he promised to give him back the 
man's property the wounded man left the hut the king went out the hut and looked around for hermit he wondered the answers of three questions and the king said for the last time i beg you to answer my questions wise man you have already been answered said the hermit yes the hermit told that you have already been answered and the king was wondered how have i been answered what do you mean yes king asked the hermit i didn't got any answer and hermit replied that if you had not pitied my weakness yesterday and had not dug these beds for me you would have gone away yes if the king didn't pitied on the hermit and dug those beds he may have returned back to the palace then that man would have attacked you yes that wounded man would have attacked the king so the most important time was when you were digging the beds and i was the most important man and to do me good was your most important business yes the answers are coming afterwards when the man ran to us the most important time was when you were caring for him the most important time was when the king was caring the wounded man and because if you had not dressed his wounds he would have died without having made peace with you yes after the wound dressing and a little bit relaxation the next morning the wounded man made peace with king if the king did not dressed his wounds he would have died without having made peace with the king so he was the most important man and what he, what the king did for him was the most important business remember then there is only one time that is important and that time is now it is the most important time because it is the only time we have any power to act yes the most important time is the present time because we are living in the present time and also we have the power to act only during the present time and the most necessary person is the person you are with at that particular moment for no one knows what will happen us in the future yes the most important person in our life will be the person who are with us at a particular moment because future is not in the hands of human beings it is all upon god and we will meet anyone else in the future but we are not aware of that the most important business is to do that person good because we were sent into this world for that purpose alone to do good things yes the most important business is to do good things because we were sent to the earth by the god for doing good things for the fellow beings and this is all the story of leo tolstoy's three questions hope you all understood the story and if you understood the story or you find this story informative please do subscribe thank you